Everybody's got to believe in something. Everybody's got to believe in something. Everybody's got to believe in something. Break it down. GSL 10주년이라. 드디어 올 것이 왔군. 좋아. 이제 한번 제대로 시작해 볼까? 2020 GSL 시즌 1 코드에스 쇼다운. 자, 한 판부터 보자고. 아프리카 TV 브레이크업 스튜디오 라이브. 2020 GSL 시즌 코드에스 쇼다운. 왓츠 업 에브리바디 웰컴 투더 GSL 코드에스 We're here in group E um, And today is going to kick a lot of ass So far I know we started late for StarCraft But uh, with both StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2 The games have been absolutely fantastic yeah, yeah, they have been. Uh, I think that last group that we just had for GSL Code S was amazing. We had a great time casting that. Make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, and the group we have today, it's an interesting one. I think we have several possibilities of who can uh, advance alongside TY. That's right. TY uh, casting uh, this GSL and the last few GSLs that we've had, but he's still in a condition where uh, he's very likely to get very deep in the tournament. So today, on the Korean side, we actually have Curious, um, our backup commentator, if TY continues to win this tournament. Um, but the rest of the group also, it, it's going to be uh, fascinating to see who comes out on top. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, a fun-filled uh, day today. This is the second-last group in this round. Uh, here are the four groups that we have already had with our players moving forward. Uh, Sue and Bunny, Innovation Scarlet, Zeskure, and Ragnarok Parting. Good set of players right there. Real quick, for the people that are tuning in right now, as in people that you know watch right when the show starts, uh, I want to do a quick reminder here. The next group will start at 5 p.m. Uh, KST, not at 6.30 p.m. KST when we normally start. That'll be um, the Wednesday cast. So yeah. uh, do mark that down. You don't want to tune in at the normal time and find out you're, you know, yeah. Missed half the show. We'll remind you a little bit later yes. on as well at the end. Uh, but, yeah, that we're going to have the group selection that day as well to see what those round of 16 groups are going to end up looking like. Don't forget we have our seeds into that as well. Uh, yeah, and also just before we forget, ASL Finals tomorrow. That's right. On the same YouTube channel that you're watching now, the ASL Finals will be on. It'll be Queen versus Last. You do not want to miss it. Flash losing in an upset. ASL incredibly competitive. And that'll be at 7 p.m. KST. Now, on to our group today. Uh, this is a really exciting group. So many different types of players here. TY, Bomber, that's right, Bomber is back. Uh, Armani and Deer. Yeah, yeah. So we have two players that have finished their military service and uh, two people that are just very strong and have been for a long time. So uh, obviously the, the favorites should be TY and Deer, but I don't think it's impossible for Armani to get out of here in the right set of matches. Uh, Armani has been coming up. He has been looking really strong. So I think there is a possibility that he can advance alongside TY. The thing is, I think that things would have to go pretty wrong for TY. Like, you'd have to hit an elimination match against Deer to fall out. I can't imagine him losing against Bomber. I can't imagine him losing it to Armani either. I know a lot of people that are going to be rooting for Bomber here. He was an old favorite oh, yeah, back in the day. He was yeah. the guy who was dominating the global circuit uh, in the very, 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 very first parts of StarCraft II. Um, but again, we don't know how he's going to perform here today. He's certainly a veteran as far as experience goes, but he's going against the very, very best here uh, right now. Now, T.Y., easily top three Terrans of all time in StarCraft II. Uh, he really seems to know the game in and out. He has a very deep understanding. He'll be going against the veteran, um, but also fairly inactive a Bomber, at least for some time he was inactive. Uh, he has qualified now. This should be a match T.Y. can win, but let's see what Bomber has planned. Yeah, I'm hoping that Bomber continues to raise his level up and we can see some great things out of him. Uh, it it seems like a long shot to get out of this group, though, especially when your first opponent is T.Y. Yeah, T.Y. Is, is a player uh, that just, he's so unbelievably consistent, and it's like one of the travesties in the world that he doesn't have a Codes title. Doesn't I know, even it's make weird. Sense. It yep. doesn't even make sense. Like, the fact that this guy hasn't been a world champion or a GSL champion, something's wrong. Yeah, he's just been... 
a step or two away from ever achieving that. You yeah. know, second places and, and yeah. great close games at that. Uh, we're going to start this off on Golden Wall, our pretty unique map. We'll unpack that more as the game starts. TY vs. Bomber, game one starts now. Quick, quick update here. Oh, ASL finals tomorrow, 5 p.m., not 7 p.m. I said 7 p.m. earlier. I was wrong. Sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. MGP, Mama, Chejis. All right. So, let's take a look here. DUI, the double proxy barracks play. Yeah. Um, very cool. I don't know if we're going to get to talk much about the way this map is, depending on whether or not Bomber actually survives this rush, mm. but uh, this map is split into a larger upper platform and a smaller lower platform. Uh, with gold bases as part of the, the wall. That's why the map gets the name it gets. Um, but immediately, TY, in some sense, ignoring a lot of the features of the map, and maybe Bomber came in here with some big plans for a unique way to approach this map, and instead, TY is going to blindside him with a rush. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a very tricky one, too, because he has that barracks at home as well. Yes. So he has the full wall. It's going to be a little bit hard to scout. And, I mean, three racks Reaper, that's that's some deadly stuff right there. Yeah, well, he'll be able to come in here immediately and do quite a bit of damage, especially with Reapers being made out of the barracks here for Bomber. I mean, TY is just going to have a lot more. Um, so let's see how quickly Bomber can react. But definitely, this is going to be this is going to be a handful here for Bomber. I'm not sure what he can do with this. He's going to check for any proxies up there. He goes back. And very soon, as, as Reapers are coming out in waves of threes, this is going to come in, and, and that moment's going to be now. All right, this is uh, going to be a little bit scary here for Bomber. Good reaction by Bomber to pull away immediately. Uh, yeah. He's going to get that Marine behind the wall. Nice grenade there. All the SCVs running down. Cancels, I think rightfully so. Yeah, I think that's a smart move. Marine makes the command center up there. Yeah, not that starting a bunker or anything, though. It makes me a bit nervous for him. Yeah, he's saying that he's confident holding this off with control alone. No structural defense to help out. And again, he's going to poke in here, continuing to chip away at the entrance here. Now, remember, these SCVs are not mining, so even though Bomber hangs on, his income is plummeting as this goes on. Yeah, oh, great sure. grenade oh, there, popping God. those SCVs out. Yeah, starting to lose quite a bit here. Nine SCVs already going down. Of course, this puts him still above TY's uh, SCV count, which is kind of funny. Yes, but I think it, uh, it could start getting worse here for him. Mm-hmm. More Reapers are continuing to come out in threes, which is only going to amp up the damage. The Hellion will be helpful, especially with the ramp bottlenecking the attack. But, of course, we all know Reapers can jump up, as we're going to see right here. So they can actually shoot down the SCV if they want. Uh, that's attacking over there and diving on the great grenades there, actually catching that Hellion, even if it did pull away in time. And now the damage continues to mount. And the moment that these SCVs do, if they do corner them, um, they'll be able to jump down. The Reapers will be able to jump down onto the low ground here. A lot of damage still being dealt here. These SCVs getting very, very bruised. As the Hellion pops out, he has killed a decent amount of Reapers at this point. But, you know, every... That's it, GG. I was going to say every shot that the uh, Reapers do, there's nothing to heal the SCVs. So when the Reapers come back in, which they inevitably will do, it's going to be that much more damage. So TY uh, brilliantly snowballing that game. We never saw a bunker come down for Bomber. Um, yeah. I don't think it's a, you know, the easy situation to handle. I think Bomber really was not anticipating TY to rush there, but this is also why TY's had so much success, especially uh, in best of threes, best of fives, best of sevens. He knows how to plan for that. And I know that you know all good players know how to win a series, but the way that he plans for them shows he really knows how to win with planning alone a lot of times. Well, 
I wouldn't say all good players know how to win a series. We've seen some of them in this season. <laughs> I guess what I, I was impression. trying to say is we have, <laughs> we have players that, you know, yeah, if you're going to get a far determined, you have to know how to win a series, but he yeah. knows how to plan it mm -hmm. so that the build order alone should pull out. Yeah, yeah, and of he course, just, it's like you don't even need to practice cold wall if that's what you're going to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I bet Bomber practiced that a decent amount, so oh, already his practice going to waste. Map 2, Nightshade, TY versus Bomber continues on. Turn to Jumbi, why are you? T1, Chun Tian. Team GP, Bamo, Chae Ji Sung. So T.Y. immediately dials it back here with a Rax gas opening. Now, uh, even though Bomber got smashed in game one, that is obviously no representation of where he's really at here. You know? Yeah. I mean, we, don't, yeah. we don't know what kind of games Bomber's going to show here in, in CODES just yet. Well, uh, you know, hopefully he can actually put something together here and show us a reasonable game. I want Bomber to do well. This is a player that has such a storied history, such an exciting player from back in the day. Who can forget, are you ready for Bomber? I mean, yeah. it's truly <laughs> just... It's kind of going our Hall of Fame of great... Yeah. Of our great quotes. Great quotes here. Um, Top three control. Are you ready for bombing? What are some other great quotes, Tasteless? I am nada. That was a great moment. Obama toss. Well, I mean, that wasn't like a great quote set on stage, though, right? I'm talking about like great quotes that Korean I programmers set on stage. Quote. Yeah, I'm kind of mangled. He destroyed Phrase. my mental. That's my a great my one. mentality has been exploded. <laughs> yeah, my mentality <laughs> has been exploded. <laughs> um, one thing though about TVT is, I think in the earlier days when Bomber was at his best, TVT, uh, it showed that there were a lot of very early on there was a lot of different ways that you could open up. I think it's been it's, it's somewhat more restricted now as far as unit comps at times, but. Okay. Um, you can kill somebody very quickly now in a TBT if you're much better than them. We see a lot of uh, yeah. players just get knocked out. Yeah. Also, uh, if you make a Banshee, it doesn't automatically guarantee at least 10 11 kills. 11 kills, yeah. Yeah, it, it doesn't just immediately go to double-digit kills like yeah. it did back when Bomber was in his prime. Right. Where every time a Banshee was made, even yeah. if it didn't have Cloak, it was guaranteed to yeah. kill only, a lot of Only stuff. Uh, the best foe you would not regularly get more than 10 kills with this Banshee because it would fly into a, it into a turret. Yes. Yeah. Don't ever forget, guys, when anyone tells you that the greatest days of StarCraft II were Wings of Liberty. What is that with RTS where people that will say that the games were clearly better back when everybody was obviously worse and we didn't understand the game as well? well. What an odd new thing. stuff is exciting, I think. So there's some nostalgia with that, but there's certainly... No one's looking at those games because as soon as you go back and watch them, you're like, oh, and you, you puke in your mouth. But we have this in StarCraft 1 as well. Look at that well-placed command center there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yikes. Uh, anyways. But yeah, this happens in StarCraft 1 as well, where people say the games are better back then, even though I think, especially this season of ASL, we're having the best games ever. Yeah, they're pretty sick. Quick third command there from TY. So TY in a complete opposite play here from game one. Game one, it was three racks, and this in game uh, game two here, it's three command centers here. Wow, what will you do in game three? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> three factories. Oh, mech in game three, all right, nice. Yeah, we'll take it. No, but he's gonna go for a pretty heavy macro game here. Um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a little bit slow for starts here. Which is just fine for me. I'm uh, really wanting to see Bomber in a more macro-esque game. He was very well known for his macro back in the day. That was the big thing I wanted to see in this series with these two because TY does not have any hiccups in macro. He's very clean and tactically he's very strong, but I want to see how Bomber matches him. It's hard to imagine Bomber uh, in this era of StarCraft overcoming TY in a macro game in a game where they both have three bases or more, but yeah. Um, Why would you say that that would be surprising? 
Because I think the way that T.Y. is able to move and, and, and confront things on the map, it, and the fact that he never misses a beat, he never misses a depot, really, yeah. in TVT, I can't imagine that Bomber coming back to this today mm. would be able to uh, out-muscle him. Okay, how old do you think they are in comparison, actually, to each other? I don't know. I actually don't know. I would bet you that Bomber is one year older than T.Y. I'm going to check because this is an interesting thing. They were both StarCraft 1 pros. That's right. That started around a similar time, if I recall correctly. But TY has stayed around and had much more success. Yes. In the no, last, I, let's say, five years. Oh, for sure. Well, Maybe even a little bit more than that, actually. Okay. TY was born in uh, 1994. And Bomber. Artos is looking this up on his phone as we. Oh, never mind. He was born in 1988. Oh, no kidding. He's an old, old man. He's a dinosaur. Damn, he is six years older than T.Y. I had no idea. Yeah, I actually thought they were much I closer. I thought that they age. would be closer to that. I thought that one was going to be a year older than the other. Well, <laughs> they became they became pros around a similar time, if I'm right. recalling this correctly. Uh, and I know that T.Y. was uh, one of the youngest ever T recruited. T.Y. was so young that at the time he was recruited as a StarCraft One pro, um, Ready for dust -off. it was like... Kind of insane it was to even news. see somebody that little yeah. on stage. He was you know? a little tiny kid. Yeah, he was a little baby. Huh. Um, and so, but obviously he's stuck with it, and, you know, now he's a young man. Um, but, yeah, very, very, very different ages there. That's actually a lot different than I thought it was, really. Yeah, 88, man. That's like... Now we have he's, he's less bomber, more boomer. All right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, uh, it looks like Bomber's oh! going to try to catch this. And actually, good save boosted out by TY. Now you got to be careful with these two unit comps, two tanks versus eight Marines, and then 16 Marines on the other side, because uh, 16 Marines can actually beat that if they get the right stim and engage there. So he's going to back up. Now, this is the moment I was waiting for. I wanted to see the movement patterns here in the middle of the map. Yeah. Well, this is somewhere that T.Y. really excels. You know, he's very, very good at getting into good positions and outmaneuvering his opponent. Uh, okay, very good pull away there. And he stayed uh, immediate unseach, by the way, for Bomber, as he wants to stay very fluid here on the map. And he's going to actually try to come around. And in kind of a weird moment, there's this isolated tank. And I'm not clear on where the rest of the armor even is here, but this tank easily goes down. Yeah. That'll give Bomber, it should give Bomber a little bit of a, a leg up on trying to set up. And Bomber disabling the tank, stimming forward. An attack comes here from behind. Oh my god, T.Y. screwed up with this Raven there, unable to cast the spells. Kept trying to cast and get out of range, but it did not wow. work out. I felt like that Bomber was going to win that much more handedly. Well, it seemed like everything then, went right for him, and then he still lost it. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> Um, we definitely saw the same thing there. It was yeah, I was like, wow, Bomber did three or four things completely T perfectly, yeah. and then TY's like, okay, but he watch He caught this. a tank, he disabled another tank, and he also uh, locked onto the Raven quickly, and TY's Raven didn't cast any spells before it died. Okay. <laughs> and then TY just cleaned up his army. Yeah. Cool. Well, this is what I was wondering. I mean, Bomber still looks very good, but TY is better. With <laughs> T I mean, Bomber is very good, but TY is better. TY is gooder. That is... No, it's it's uh it's true and <laughs> that's my in-depth analysis here. Yeah. No, it's, uh, is he gonna That is the most damaged leading medevac. Medivacs, I know yeah. when you see the medevac in the front with ten percent HP. Gotta be careful if there's any birds on this map, he might he might fly into the rotors and he's yeah. gonna blow up. <laughs> uh TY is gonna push out. He's itching for a fight. TY now exceeding supply uh, by about fifteen here. And Let's remember that a lot of the tanks were killed in the push there from Bomber, so he'll have less static defense, which might allow TY to just break through. TY had poking a little bit there. TVT in StarCraft 2 now is so crazy as far as the unit movement goes. Like, the damage, the burst damage for uh, in TVT is so high with Siege Tank and Stim Marine that, like, yeah. you really have to make so many perfect decisions in a row. That is certainly right. I mean, you just can get so much damage on so quickly. Stimmed Marines DPS is just absurd. All right, this is an annoying position here for Bomber. I don't think it's game losing, but TY is going to take the damage he can get from this. Kind of cool to see he didn't just try to push it the third at all. He instead tried to wedge himself in that. Um, you know, on this map, there's an 
awkwardly large berth behind your uh, minerals. Or yeah. you can slot marines and tanks yeah. or whatever back there. So and he, he forced a cancel in the command center. He killed some turrets, yeah. and, you know, a depot, a few SCVs and stuff. Made him lose some mining. That was a very good move from from uh, TY. Uh, hold up. This is going to be bad for Bomber here if he doesn't pull away immediately. Uh, now these tanks each up. They should get some shots. I guess not as much as I thought they would get. These marines are fast. Yeah, when they're on those stim drugs, man, they can move. Um, he's going to try to loop up here, maybe, to the top. Yeah, I think this is where TY, like, it gets very hard to play against him in well, this type of situation. He has more supply right now, uh, and he's just going to kind of be roaming around the map consistently well, he's here. also out-expanded him, too. You know, this is not a game where you can point to um, one amazing thing TY did. He basically did every little thing yeah, better than... It feels like he's just bomb. playing better. Whoa, did your volume just spike up in your headset? Yeah. Okay, hopefully that gets fixed. I'm a lot louder for some reason now. <laughs> um, anyways, we're going to have a push up here at 12. Yeah, and it, like just look at how uh, TY is, is moving here, right? They both have the multiple sensor towers up at this point. But TY joining up his army, kind of roaming around a bit. I like, if you look at the mini-maps, the mini-map, he just has like more blue spread out on the edge of some of these as well. Like look down at that. You know, possible fifth base location here at Nightshade. Okay, here we go. A couple of, uh, oh my god. Look at this, stimming in. Yeah. The tanks are not siege, not in position. These high ground tanks of TY doing a great job right there. Okay, we yeah, have another strikers. attack coming in again. Yeah. Those liberators and, didn't do as much as I thought they would, but he stims over here on top of the high ground. And now he's going to be able to take out a lot of these tanks here. This is going to separate the second and the third base here. And you know, I don't know that there's going to be an easy way here for Bomber to try to prevent this. The Marines are actually too small in number, and now uh, TY getting behind the minerals, doing even more damage, taking out the turret, allowing more access there later on. Two more CCs about to finish down here at the bottom of the map. Yeah, TY looking so strong right now. He's got that additional armor upgrade uh, also, which is pretty helpful in these Marine-Marine uh, interactions. But you can see he's just kind of like tightening the noose right now, making it very tough on Bomber. Again, Bomber right now needs to hang on. Um, he's not dead, of course, but TY is really tightening the noose here. Another siege up here. Is this a moment where Bomber can come in? It looks like the Marine count is just too sparse. Stims forward there. Takes out quite a few siege tanks. TY's push, it just doesn't look like it's going to be denied. Because he's picking out medivacs at this point as well. Just continually gaining value. And let's not forget, he does have more bases. Now he's going to have two more bases than his opponent. At this point in time, uh, if Bomber doesn't defend the fourth, and there's also a chance we have the second even dropped in here, I think that he might just have to tap out. We're going to have the three tanks defending picked off. And this is going to allow the siege tanks here of TY to just continue to pelt. Uh, the planetary, so he doesn't even have to really take that uh, in, in, in a, like a diving attack, so to speak. And I think we are seeing yeah. the twilight of this game. For sure. Bomber clearing out a single siege tank over here, but, you know, he's not even really able to hold on to this base. TY going in for the kill. Yeah, and uh, Bomber, if he doesn't repair that, that will be taken out as well. Again, TY just flexing here in this TVT. You know, in a matchup where you start out with the same in every way and they both tech the same direction, you can see TY just, you know, I don't know, 20% better at everything that he does and yeah. comes out ahead of Bomber. But Bomber's still looking very strong. Well, Bomber, I mean, he's going across the map looking for a counterattack. I can't imagine, like, he'd have to not just kill that base, but at least one more to really bring himself back in this. Okay, uh, Bomber going to push in here. I think he's just going to get surrounded, though. Wow, disables on all these tanks. GG, beautifully done. Yeah. Okay, oh. TY wins. Now, that's what we expected, but I'll tell you what. I think the bigger takeaway is that Bomber looks very strong. Yeah, I mean, Bomber looks good. Uh, just TY quite a bit better. Uh, and I mean, that's generally the case. TY makes almost every Terran on Earth look bad by comparison. Yeah, he's so good. Especially his TBT. Also showing showing that, uh, you know, even while he's still commentating GSL, he's able to stay completely on top uh, of his game. 
Yeah, definitely looking uh, favored to get out of this group very quickly. We'll see who joins him in that winner's match, though, because coming yeah. up next, Armani versus Deer. Yeah, uh, Bomber, I, I, I'm not... I want to see more Bomber games. You're going to see more I, Bomber We only games. really no got worries. to see one true Bomber game because uh, that rush. So, um, anyways, we don't have any more time. We're going to go to a short break. When we come back, the second best of three in Group E of the GSL Code S.